After a special medicine is introduced into a petri dish full of bacteria, the number of bacteria remaining in the, decre in the dish decreases rapidly. The relationship between the elapsed time t in seconds and the number of bacteria n of t in the petri dish is modeled by the following function. All right. Complete the following sentence about the half-life of the bacteria culture. The number of bacteria is halved every blank seconds. So t is being given to us in seconds. So let's, let's think about this a little bit. Let's think about, I'll draw a little table here. I'll draw a little table here. So if we have, this is t and this is n of t. And I'll start with a straightforward t. At time equals zero, right when we start, this whole thing, if this t is zero, then one half to the zero over 5.5, or that's just one half to the zero, that's all going to be one. And you're just going to be left with 1,000. 1,000 bacteria in the Petri dish. Now, at what point do we get to multiply by 1 half? At what point do we get to say 1,000 times 1 half? Well, in order to say 1,000 times 1 half, the exponent here has to be 1. So at what time is the exponent here going to be 1? Well, the exponent here is going to be 1. This whole exponent is going to be 1 when t is equal to 5.5 seconds. So t is 5.5. Five seconds, and likewise, if we wait another 5.5 seconds. So if we go to 11 seconds, then this is going to be 1,000 times 11 divided by 5.5 is two, so times one half to the second power. So times one half times one half. So every five and a half seconds, we will essentially have half of the bacteria that we had five and a half seconds ago. So the number of bacteria is halved every 5.5 seconds. And you see it in the formula or in the, in, the, in the function definition right over there. But it's nice to reason it through and to really, really digest why it makes sense. Let's do a few more of these. The chemical, the chemical element Einsteinium-253 naturally loses its mass over time. A sample of Einsteinium-253 had an initial mass of 320 grams when we measured it. The relationship between the elapsed time t in days and the mass m of t in grams left in the sample is modeled by the following function. Complete the following sentence about the rate of change in the mass sample. The sample loses 87.5% of its mass every blank days. So this one, instead of saying how much we grew or shrunk by, we're saying a percent change. So if you lose 80, if you lose, if you lose 87.5%, that means that you are left with left with 12.5%. 12.5%, which is the same thing as that you have that is the same way of saying that you have 0.125% of your mass. So another way of thinking about it is the the sample has the sample is 0.125 of its mass, of its original mass, or how long does it take for the sample to be 0.125 of its mass? And there we could do a similar, a similar idea. You see the 0.125 right over here. And so I could draw a table if you like, although I think you might guess where this is going. But let me draw a little table here. So t and m of t. When t is 0, m of t is 320. And so at what point is t, at, at what time is m of t going to be 320 times 0 0.125? Because this, going from this to this, that is losing 87.5% of your mass. Losing, losing 87, I'll use, so let me just write it this way. So this is minus 87.5% percent of the mass. You've lost 0.875 to get to 0.125. So this, you could just use 0.125 to the first power. So what, did, what t do you have to make this exponent equal 1? Well, t has to be 61.4. 61.4, and where t is in days, 61. Point four days. Now you might be tempted to always just pattern match. So oh, whatever is in the you know whatever is in the denominator here. But I really encourage you to think about it because that's the whole point of these problems. If you just are pattern matching these, well, I don't know how helpful that's going to be for you. Let's do one more of these. 
Howard started studying how the number of branches on his tree grows over time. The relationship between the elapsed time t in years since Howard started studying the tree and the number of its branches n of t is modeled by the following function. Complete the following sentence about the rate of change in the number of branches. Howard's tree gains four-fifths more branches every blank years. So gaining, gaining four-fifths is equivalent to multiplying, multiplying by, and we're gonna, you're gaining four-fifths of what you already are. You're not just gaining you know, the number four-fifths, you're gaining four-fifths of what you already are. So that's the equivalent of multiplying by one plus four-fifths, or nine-fifths. So gaining four-fifths is the same thing as multiplying by nine-fifths. If I'm five years old and if I gain four-fifths of my age, I would, gain five, I would gain four years to get to be nine years old, which means I've multiplied my age by nine-fifths. So Howard's tree, you could say, grows by a factor of nine-fifths every how many years? Well, you could see over here the common ratio is nine-fifths. And so you're going to grow by nine-fifths every Every time t is a multiple of 7.3. Or I guess you could say every time t increases by 7.3, you're going to, then this exponent is going to increase by a whole. And so you're going to, you could view that as multiplying again by 9 fifths. So Howard's tree gains 4 fifths more branches every 7.3 years.